and Lazio Saturday. I mean, tremendous for Crystal Palace to be welcoming a team of that stature to Sellers Park, isn't it? It is, and hopefully it'll be a chance for the fans to see us first time, really, uh, a competitive game. So I'm sure it'll be a good atmosphere, a good crowd, and it'll be a good opposition. I mean, it's what we're going to expect to play against every week in the Premier League, isn't it? They're going to um, you imagine them to keep the ball, um, keep possession well. So it'll be a good test for us. And tactically, it gives us a chance to look at what we want to do. Um, we, we go over full squad and we look at the game time. But in general, the players after Saturday um, will, will be fit and flying. And of course, uh, since that day in May when we got promotion, there's been an awful lot of work going on behind the scenes at the club, certainly down here as well, to get ready for that first game against Tottenham. I mean, as it sort of... Has it just sort of flown by the time of building up to it? It must have done organising everything, but with the pre-season trip to organise and indeed getting ready for the fixtures themselves. Yeah, it has been. The trouble was we didn't know whether we were going to go up or not until after Wembley. So we couldn't really arrange pre-season. We had an idea and we always had two, two ideas whether we went up or not. So um, it, that was a rush. And, um, but we've planned it and it's worked out, I think, OK. Um, the players seem quite happy with their fitness levels. We are, um, and and it's, it's still ongoing. I mean, we're trying to get players in. We might have to look at maybe rearranging another game for next week, depending on who plays on Saturday. Um, but I think if, if if the manager comes to us next week and says, "Is is everyone fit, match fit?" Then if you like, we've done our job as coaches, and uh, we're on course to do that.